So, what is QSAR? So, QSAR stands for Quantitative Structure Relationship. And quantitative structure relationship. So, what is the basis of QSAR? So, the name stands for QSAR, quantitative structure analysis relationship. So, quantitative means something related to a number. Structure, we all know about the structure. Activity means the relation between the structure and the numbers and their relation. So why we do the QSR? So we do QSR to predict the bioactivity of a particular ligand or drug molecule against a particular target protein. So why it is needed? So you can say that from the bioactivity, we can predict the IC50 value. Of this figure. So, what is again what is IC50 value? So, IC50 value is nothing but the inhibitory concentration 50. IC means inhibitory, IC inhibitory concentration 50. So, that means this is the concentration of which if I say that uh, IC50 value of quercetin is 50 mg for a protein called EGFR. That means that if I give 50 mg quercetin in a system to inhibit EGFR, then 50% of EGFR will be inhibited by the quercetin. Okay. So this is in simple words, you can say the concentration of the ligand which can bind 50% of the target is known as IC50. So we generally predict IC50 value or we generally identify or calculate the IC50 value to measure the dose. So after getting the IC50, we can decide the dose for our drug. In some cases, we take 1% of the IC50 value. Some cases, we take 5% of the IC50 value to act as a drug of our liver. So now I will show how to calculate this IC50 value by in silico method. In weight lab also you can get the IC50 value, but you can predict in bioinformatics also. So for that, what you need? You need the target for which you have to calculate the IC50 value. The IC50 value for the different part, um, uh, targets will be different for the same ligand. As you can say that the IC50 value for KS, KRAS of a ligand called quercetin is 30 mg, then it will not be the same for the target like BRAF. It will be different. For BRF, it will be different. For KRS, it will be different. So now we can understand that IC50 for a particular ligand, for a particular target is same, but for a particular ligand, different targets will be different. This is clear. Now, secondly, what we require to get the IC50 value or predict the IC50 value or to run a QSAR. So we need descriptors. So what is the descriptors? Descriptors is nothing but the chemical properties. And we need one template data set. So when I will go for the uh, hands on, then you will know it clearly. But for the theory part, uh, part I am just uh, saying you few things. Just remember. It will be clear during the hands on session. So, properties are the um, descriptors and how many templates or how many test data you will collect for a particular QSA equation. So, generally, if you select the descriptor, the number of descriptor you have chosen, the five times test uh, data set you should be taken. Okay, so if you have chosen five uh, descriptor, then you should select at least 25 test data set. 
So what are the test deposit? So let us consider or just uh, get a simple example. So uh, let us consider that you don't know that what are the um, characteristics for a good student. Okay. About you don't know what are the characteristics of a good student. So in your class, when you are joining your class, so how we can get to know that which students are good and which students are bad. Okay. So you have to get some properties of characteristics of the good student and the bad student. And when you uh, analyze the characteristics of a student, then you can decide that yes, his characteristics is within this student. So it is fall under the good student. And these characteristics are uh, of a bad student. So this student is fall under the bad student. So like that, we have to get descriptors for the test data set. So let us consider why the other number of descriptor should be higher. Like if I say that uh, one student, if the student is regular in class, he, is, he will be a good student. But if a bad student is regular in class, but he might be, might may not be a good student, but he is regular in class. So though the student is following the characteristics of a good student, but he is not following under the good student. But your analysis will say that he is a good student. So you need more descriptor to predict it more correctly. Second, if I say that if one student is good in uh, result and is regular, then he is for another good student. So now you can analyze one student. Yes, he is regular in class and he also getting the good marks. So he is for another good student. But maybe he is doing cheating during his examination. So he is getting the good marks. So he is not falling under the good student. So I am giving another characteristic of the students. Like if he is if he is responding in class, then it is be considered under good student. So you can now judge the student by yes, he is regular. He is responding the class, uh, responding in the class and uh, during the teacher's question answer session, and he got the good marks. So now you can get the idea that yes, this student is good student. And the probability of your prediction will be getting higher. The number of characteristics you are getting, the probability of your prediction will be higher. So with one descriptor, the probability will be very less. But when you increasing the um, descriptors or characteristics, the probability will be very high. OK, so the number of descriptor matters. The number of this uh, if the number of descriptors is higher then the probability of your prediction will be higher here yeah. now in case of our target what we will do we will collect some known inhibitors okay so there let us consider the target is kras one uh, target for cancer and as we know the few compounds already uh, reported that they are able to inhibit this target molecule. So these are the test data set. Already known ligands. Okay. So what we will do? We will collect those ligands and we will find some of the characteristics of this ligand. So like molecular weight, the number of hydrogen bond, number of hydrogen bond donor, paracord, sulfate tension. Likewise, we will collect some description of the each set of training data set. And we also know the IC50 value of this ligand against the target because this is known inhibitor now. So we already know the IC50 value for this ligand. So I will give if this is, is this, this is, is the characteristic of this ligand, then IC50 value will be there. Okay. For this characteristics, the IC50 value is this. For this characteristic, the IC50 value is this. This is my training data share. Now, for my ligand, now I have to calculate the uh, data of my ligand. 
so my ligands descriptor also will be available okay this is the character of my ligand what will be the isomeric value okay so for test data set i have for test descriptor and this is the isomeric value for my compound this is the descriptor and what is the isomeric value so i will compare the data set with my ligand and i will get the ic vector value predicted okay so this is the main theory behind the qsr so how i will analyze analyze those number 50 60 70 80 numbers of ligand with my compound so qsr what qsr did qsr generated one equation known as qsr equation from the test data set and in this equation i will put the information of my descriptor and i will get the result so this is the theory behind the qsr when i will show you how to do qsr you can get more idea so for that um, let me share my screen so for qsr you can do your qsr in microsoft excel also because it is nothing but a statistics but there is a software known as easy qsr easy qsar free software so by this software you can do the qsr very easily so this is the software just click the first link and there is a download link click here to download the software okay so this is the software we will use during my analysis so we need a excel file for the analysis so i am showing a prepared excel file and i will show you how to get those kind of data set okay so these are the data set for my protein known as kras so in column one these are the known inhibitor for kras this is the chem canonical smile i have already shown how to generate and i have selected few descriptor known as molecular weight molar refractivity molar volume paracore surface tension density polarizability log p hydrogen bond acceptor ic50 value and activity okay this these are the descriptor so how you will get this non inhibitor first of all to get the non inhibitor information you have to go one website known as binding db or binding database so this is the binding database software server so just click it and write the name of your protein like kras i am searching the known inhibitor for kras click go so this server is temporary inactive let me change the keyword so this server is currently not working so you can do with this server and there is another server name is Campbell. C H E M B L. It's another server from where you can get the no inhibitors. So click this sur server.
and search the name of the protein like KRS anions. Just click the search button. Now you will get so many data. You have to go to essay. There is written as compounds target essays. I have to go or click essays. So after clicking the essays, we will get so many data. So we need, we are working on Homo sapiens, so we need to select Homo sapiens. So for Homo sapiens, see, under the organism, you will get Homo sapiens. So I am clicking on Homo sapiens because we need the inhibitors for the target KRS, which is of Homo sapiens. Now, see, there is written as compound. And there is written the number two, one, three, one, like that. So I will try where the number of compound is more, like that. In the, that case, there is 16 compound. So I will select this one. So after clicking this 16, then you have to scroll down. So these are the 16 known inhibitors for the target KRS. Now, again. so I have clicked on compound, so it is shown the section compound responsible for inhibition of KRS of human. So I, if I click on the CMPL ID of the same essay, then you will get a basic information. Now, see, we are doing work with IC50. So here written as IC50. In some case, there will be KC50. So I will just consider if that there is written IC50. So if there is written IC50, then I will consider this. So there is written IC50, so I will click in this round wall. So from there, I will get all the information. What I will do, I will that just click on the CSV icon to download the result. So I have clicked the CSV. So then there is written a download file. I am clicking the download file, and file will be downloaded in your desired folder. So this is the data set. So what can I do? I will do just one thing, data, text to column. So I will take this column, text to column. This is my column. Okay. So you have to just select one column. So this is the column A, and I will click on F to column. Then click next and select semicolon and click next and then finish. So see, this is been showing as a different column. So from that, what can you get? You will get the molecular ID. So you will select this molecular ID and paste in, in a new 
Excel file. So like that, I get the molecular ID. Then I will get the canonical smile. So see, there is the smile of this ID. So I will paste the smile here. Okay. Then one important thing I will get from there. That is the IC50 value. So these are the IC50 value, and this is the I uh, units. It is nanomolar. Okay. So these are the IC50 value, and there's the nanomolar. So see, in that case, two IC50 values missing. So we will not consider this two cache data set. So I will select this center value, which is the IC50 value. So I will paste the IC50 value here. See. The data IC50 value. So this is not similar because I have uh, not selected those the guns which which is I am showing now. These are the different data set, so it is not showing the same. Okay. So these are the IC50 value. So from this Campbell ID, you got the 16 template. So you will again scroll down, go up here. and scroll down and select more another analysis to get more data okay so scroll down and may select another one like this five this six and you collect at least 150 to 200 known inhibitor for this compound so for this target okay so you know now how to get molecular id smiley and ic50 balloon okay now you have to get those parameters those parameters for this compound so where you can get this parameter just search chem sketch so this is the chem sketch so you already know how to get structure from the smile. So I will I will select one smile like that. I will selecting this smile. Go to cam sketch tool, generate structure from smile and paste. Okay. So this is the structure. So I get the structure. Now I need the different parameters or descriptors. For that, what will do? Go to tools, calculate, and then all properties. And copy to editor. I have shown this earlier also. So I think you are familiar with this. So see, I need molecular weight. So this is the molecular weight. You can write molecular weight here. Then molar reflectivity. So go to there and see molar reflectivity. But you have to choose only the first one not the plus minus you have to choose only 124.79 not the plus minus zero four not the last one only the first one so you will get the molar reflectivity molar barium paracore index of reflection surface tension density polarizability those descriptor we will get from the scheme sketch see that much polarizability we will get from that can sketch only now we need log t hydrogen bond acceptor and hydrogen bond donor the hydrogen bond donor is missing here why i will show you why i have omitted the hydrogen bond donor so for getting the log t hydrogen bond acceptor and donor we have to go molsoft and you already know from the molsoft we can get the From the molds of and drug lactinus, you can get the so I am pasting the smile here, then okay, and calculate properties, and you will get 
the hydrogen bond acceptor hydrogen bond donor and log p value so from this we will get log p value hydrogen bond acceptor hydrogen bond donor though it is not there i will say why it is not there so this is the process to get the descriptor for each known inhibitors so there are almost 42 descriptor 42 uh, test set and there is almost uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 descriptor and 42 ligands are there so so from this data set i got everything except the activity so i got the icft value but there is activity is missing so activity how you calculate you have to just give is equal to minus log first bracket you have to select the icft value close the bracket and click enter and it will give you the activity so double click this it will be generated all the activity for this ligands so what is activity activity is nothing but the negative logarithm of ic50 value what is activity negative logarithm of ic50 value so we'll get all the data one by one you have to collect all the data then how we will get the equation for equation so i will open the software which is easy qsr so after downloading the software you just open the easy qsr this is the software so first of all you have to write the number of training data set so how many training data set we have so there are 41 training data set there is written 42 because one is the title bar so removing the title bar i have 41 data set so i will just click 41 and number of descriptors i have shown i have nine descriptors like that one two three four five five six seven eight nine I will not consider IC50 value and activity as a descriptor because I have to upload it in different file. So these, there are nine descriptors. So I have written nine. Now I have to add, upload the activity file. So click on edit and there will be open a new Excel file. So I, as I said, the activity should be up in different file so i have not counted as a descriptor so i have paste the activity here as it is generated by a so, uh, equation so i have to click this number button to get the numbers so this is the numbers click close and click save and yes so i have uploaded the activity file now i have to upload the descriptor file list see so click edit there will be a there will open one excel file and i have to copy all the descriptor and paste it in the file click close and click save and click yes so the both the file has been uploaded now i have to load the file so click just load into file see as i said that the number of training data set is 41 and there is written as 50 number of descriptor used 9 and i have also given 9 so that means there is a problem that i have uploaded 50 descriptor descript uh, activity file and i am written 41 so let me see if am i doing anything wrong So see, there is something problem I have 
dump. So what I will do, I will just edit it again. And you will find that after the 42 file, there is written something which is included with the file. So what I will do, I will just click on and delete. And I will select it again. And testing it again. Now close, save, yes. Now load again. See, the 41 descriptor is now OK, but the activity file is 50 because I have given the activity file in wrong way. So I will again delete this and go to the activity and select up to the 42. You see, paste it again. Paste as values. Close, save, yes. Now, load input file. Then input file has been loaded. Now, analyze. Click analyze. So I am just clicking analyze. Now, this is the analysis of the data. So, see, there is some value. And before going to the value, you just read this one. The RSQ value should be definitely high for a good QSA equation. So why is the RSQ value is 90.9.3? It is good. But it will be better if it is go beyond the 95%. Second is written as high difference in RSQ and adjusted RSQ indicates weaker overall prediction. So there should not be a difference in RSQ and adjacent RSQ. So there is how much there is difference? There is one point something. The RSQ is 90 and adjacent RSQ is 88.3. So there is not much difference in the RSQ and adjacent RSQ. Then comes for the F characteristics. The F characteristics of the test should be greater than critical F. So critical F is 2 and F statistic is 94.54. So it is also following all the data. So in that case, I can say, yes, it is good, suitable prediction. To see the plot, just click on the plot and we'll get one QSR plot. That means this is the actual data, data and this is the predicted data. So what does it mean? It means that like this compound, original IC50 value is, sorry, activity value. From there, we will get the activity value. The original activity value is minus 4.5. And the predicted value is 4 point, minus 4.47. It is almost similar now. So from this data, we can say that our actual value and the predicted value is good. So from this equation, we can say that our generated equation good. So I you can save this by taking a screenshot for your USR plot to give in your manuscript or in your thesis or dissertation. So this is one equation. So now I will show before going to the further analysis, I will show how a bad equation are looking. So let me find one data set to show you how a bad QSAR equation is looks like. Let me find a data set.
so i have got another data set let this see if this data set is showing good result or not so i will open the easyqsr again it will be a division for you also if you upload another new data set so this is the data set where there is number of test is 94 so training data set is 94 and number of descriptor is Eleven. So descriptor is eleven. Now I will upload the activity file. Which does the number close say yes? Now I will upload the descriptor file. Edit. So load file, see 94 and 11, it is same. Now I will click on analyze. When I click on analyze, you go to the, go there, see. RSQ value is only 59%. Okay, only 59%. So it should be more than 90, 95. And therefore, this is showing only 59% RSQ value. The difference between the adjacent RSQ and RSQ is also high. This is considered as a high because it is almost six. So, if you see the plot, see this plot is how much haphazard. This compounds actual IC50 value is minus 1.6, and it has been predicted as minus 4.4. So those are not the good data sets you can get to generate one QSR equation. So how you will improve this data set? To improve the data set, you have to omit the training data set around this area. The point nearer to this line is OK, but far from this line is not good for our equation. So we have to remove almost this kind of these types of data set like this type of data set so how you can identify those data set so what you can do see these are the actual value and predicted value so if i want to delete this data set click here it is actual a uh, minus 44 uh, minus 4.4 is the predicted and actually is minus 1.6 so see in actual 1.68, where is the 1.68? So just scroll down and find out the 1.68. Okay, I am not getting the 1.68 yet. It is available, but my eye uh, is not finding it so i will go for the predicted value predicted value is minus four minus four point four so c is there any anyone is four point four in that line see this is the four point four but it is not equivalent equal to the dead data set so this is not my compound so it is very difficult to find out the gigant from here i yes, i got it see the actual value is minus 4.4 .4 and the predicted value is minus 1.68 so this is the same data set as there minus 4.4 .4 and minus 1.68 see minus 4.4 .4 and minus 1.68 so this point and that point are the same. So this is the number eight descriptor. 
so you have to go to the main file and number eight means number nine because first line is the name of the descriptor so number eight means number nine you have to mark it likewise you have to mark those dots in the excel sheet after marking this you have to delete all the marked line then you will get fewer test data set so that's why i have so said you that you should collect 150 200 250 because after getting the equation you have to remove so many test data set to get a great qsr plot so after removing all the side wise data i have selected 31 data set at final so let's see after removing all those things what happened so number of descriptors is 1 2 11 okay so i have to put the activity file again click edit this data is after removing all the points i have shown so i have selected the activity Page to here Same. I have to enter descriptors. Delete everything. So close. Say yes. Now load the file. So 30 and 11 is this same. Then analyze, go to scroll up. See, the RSQ value has been increased up to 96.42%. And adjusted RSQ gone 94.24%. F statistics 44.11 and critical F is 2.14. So this is a good statistical analysis. Then if you see the plot, see how beautiful this plot is. After removing all the things, how beautiful this plot is. So, after getting this plot, now how to analyze your compound. So, for this, you have to generate QSR equation. So, when I click on generate, this is the QSR equation. So, you just copy this one and save, paste it in any word file or notepad. This will be the activity file or activity equation file for your target so this is the active equation you can get the data from this equation only but in this software there is automated option is here to get the result to get the result you have to enter new test data so i click this and it will open again one excel file so what i have to do i have to put the descriptors of your compound of interest. So like that I am uploading one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven descriptors of unknown compound. Okay, I have uploaded the seven. You can upload one, you can do how many you want. Minimum is, minimum is one, maximum is whatever you want. You have to paste it. This is the descriptor of your ligand. And you easily get the descriptor for your ligand as I shown earlier how to get. Then click close, say yes. Then go to the software again and click predict activity. So 
data sets 1 2 3 i have updated six data set and there are the six activity have been predicted so what i will do i will just write down those activity in the excel file i have written the activity in the excel file okay so these are the activity but what we require we require the icvt value so from like uh, icvt value we get the activity by getting the negative logarithm now doing the anti log we will get the icvt value from this activity so how we can get the activity just give a equal to then write power give one bracket write 10 then comma then select the activity by close the bracket to click it give one minus there before the activity file you give one minus there and click on enter then you will get the ic value so here for this compound the ic value is 10,232.922. so as we know this ic value we got in the units of nanomolar so if you want to convert it molar just divide by thousand and it will be 10 point Two three millimolar. Okay, so if you want to convert this to nanomolar to millimolar, just divide by thousand. So it will be converted into millimolar. So likewise, you can get the IC fifty value of any unknown ligand. So this is the QSAR analysis we have done. That means if we give ten point two three nanomolar in a system of this compound. The fifty percent of the EGFR protein will be inhibited. So that was the QSR. So now I will ask if is there is any doubt regarding this analysis. So this is the process of QSR. If you want to repeat in some steps, you can say I will repeat the process. If you having any doubts regarding theories or practical session, you can ask. So there is no question, I think. Full repeat one question, full process or particular process, particular area. Which part do you want to re, uh, repeat? Full process.
Okay, how to choose the descriptor? I have missed this part. Okay, okay. I have missed this part. Thank you for remembering me. So when you click on the analysis button, you will get some information regarding when you scroll down, you will get some information like percentage contribution of each descriptor to activity. Okay, so when you get a low RSQ value, if you are getting a low RSQ value, what you can do one thing, you can first go to the percentage contribution of each descriptor activity and here you will get which descriptors percentage contributed for this equation. So you can see molar molecular weight is contributed 14.85%. Molar reflectivity contributing 3.08%. Molar volume contributing 7.67%. Likewise, all the uh, contribution of the descriptors is written here. So first of all, without deleting the extra descriptor as I shown, what you can do, you can see which descriptor is contributing less. So here you can see hydrogen bond acceptor only at contributing 1.08%. So it is not contributing so much for that equation. So for that, what you can do, you can delete this descriptor from the Excel file and write the number of descriptor as minus one. If there is 11, you will write the descriptor as 10 and you delete the hydrogen bond acceptor from the descriptor file. Then see if the RSQ value is increasing or not because this is not contributing much in the equation so why should i consider that descriptor it may affect in our equation and after deleting it it may give me a good rsq value so like that in the first file i have shown i have not selected hydrogen bond donor because this hydrogen donor was showing less contribution to the equation that's why i have deleted this descriptor to go get the higher quality equation. So this is how we have to select the oh, I have not shared my screen and I have talked. Sorry, I have not shared screen and I have dropped it. So I think now this screen is visible. So when we click on the analysis, here you can get the percentage contribution of each descriptor to activity. So you can get the different percentage contribution of the descriptors to this equation. So here you can see that hydrogen bond acceptor is showing very less contribution. So if in that case RSQ value is showing less and I have shown how to delete the descriptor. So without going to the descriptor deletion first, you just delete the contribution of descriptor. Like here, hydrogen bond acceptor is showing 1.08% contribution to the activity. So you can delete the descriptor from the Excel file and write the number of descriptor you have written minus one like if you is you are having 10 descriptors you will write nine if you are written 11 descriptors you will write 10 and from the descriptor file you can delete this hydrogen bond acceptor like that so if i delete this what will happen it will when i load and analyze See, RSQ value has little increased, I think, 96 point something. So likewise that you can, instead of deleting the training data set, you can 
like the descriptor also so likewise you can select the descriptor for the first file i have shown i was deleted hydrogen donor because the contribution of hydrogen donor to the equation was very less so i was deleted hydrogen bond donor to get the greater statistical analysis of my equation so this is the process how you have to select the descriptor and the descriptor i have mentioned here are the common or default descriptor you can select for the analysis so from those descriptor which descriptor should you re remain should be remain in for the equation is selected by like that by seeing the contribution okay so this is the process by which you can select the descriptors and repeat once qsr super chakravarti i have answered your question and for devolvenness and repeat once qsr so what to do just i think you know how to get the descriptors no you have to please uh, uh, precisely say me which part you have to repeat how should i show how to get the uh, collection of descriptor or should i say how to select the descriptor or should i say how to do the qsa if you say me then it will be better for me otherwise i have to repeat the whole process from starting okay so how to do the qsr after getting the descriptors you just open the folder of the downloaded qsr and open the qsr file then just count how many how many test ligand you have so i have 30 so test training data set is 30 this is known as training data set test data set whatever you want to say so this is training data set is 30 or test data set or whatever you can say then you have to count the descriptors so there is one two three four five six seven eight nine there is 11 descriptor so you have to write 11 then you have to give the activity file so just to upload the activity file you click on edit then it will open a excel file go to your file and select the activity then paste it the excel file then click as values close say yes so activity file has been uploaded now i have to upload the descriptor file for that click edit another excel file will open then you have to choose all the descriptors and one thing you have to remember let me Page did that one. I, I am saying yes. Then click close. Say yes. The name I have written without any space. So you there should not be any space. You have written the name here. Okay. If you give one space, then it will be considered as another column. So please don't give any space to the name. So I have uploaded the activity activity file and descriptor file. Now I will load files. See. Titan training data and 11 descriptor. Here is also written Titan training data and 11 descriptors. Then I have to click on the plot. So there is no plot because I have not done the analysis yet. To learn the analysis, I have to click here, analysis. Then you get to upwards and see the QSR value, RSQ value, ARSQ value, F statistic value, and CF value. And the meaning of this values is written here and i have already mentioned then go to the plot and you will get the plot take a screenshot of this shot of this plot for your manuscript or for dissertation or thesis then click on generate qsr and you will get the equation copy it and paste it any notepad or microsoft office this activity you have to mention in your manuscript or your Dissertation or your near thesis. This is the generated USR equation from which I will be calculating my activity of my unknown ligand. 
so i get the activity equation i got the plot and i have got the very good statistical analysis then i have to test the i activity of my unknown ligand so here these are my unknown ligand and descriptor i have already identified so i am just selecting all the descriptor of my unknown ligand and click on the enter new test data so it that new test data i am testing the values click close say yes then click predict activity and you can get the activity of all the data set you have entered so write down those activity in any place i am written here the activity so i need ic50 value but i have got the activity so from the activity from the ic50 value i got the activity in first place by doing the negative logarithm so here is the activity i need ic50 value so if i do the entry log of this ic50 value activity i will get the ic50 value so in excel how to do the entry log just click equal to right power give one bracket right 10 give one comma give one minus sign and select the activity file close the first bracket and enter and you will get the ic value for that activity so this ic value is in nanomolar units because in the kmbl we found this ic value is written as nanomolar i have already mentioned so here 10,233 nanomolar is uh, it's saying this nanomolar is not uh, eye catching now so what we can do we can convert this nanomolar to millimolar to convert this millimolar what can we do we can just divide it by thousand to convert into millimolar so if we convert it in millimolar there will be 10.233 it will be millimolar okay so how you can convert the nanomolar to millimolar how you can get the ic value from the activity i have mentioned here hopefully you have understand Any more question? Okay, thank you, Rajat, for this uh, wonderful and informative session. And thank you to the participants for attending the class. So tomorrow there will be next session. And today, uh, now we are closing the session. Thank you once again, Rajat, for this informative session. Thank you, Kuna, and, and good night, everyone. OK, OK, thank you. And if there are any query, you just put uh, it to our WhatsApp group. So, yeah, yeah, sure.